hey guys how you all doing so in this video i'll show you how you can share data from one sibling component to another sibling component with the help of context api in react.js okay so let me first explain the problem and then we will get to the solution okay so suppose you have a button on one component okay and on that click of one button on component b you want to show that data that so an api data into component a so how are you going to do that for this you can you are going uh, we are going to use context api okay so let me first explain you f uh, what exactly context api does okay so context api what exactly it does is first uh, you set up a context api it is basically a function where you like execute that function and on that function so for example you have these two component a component b so on top of that you are going to uh, initialize the provider okay and that provider will have a data for example the data is a string of abc and and since like on top of that there's this is this provider is now both a component can access it or and b component can access it and you can make a function to change the data so both a can change the data then then b will see the change change data and both and both b can change data so a will see the change data okay now let me show you uh, so let me show you the demo how exactly it works okay so here the, the i have component b and it uh, it says the click here it is the button and on by clicking on this button you will see the api data on component a okay so as you can see this is the api data that is showing in component a i have made a timer function for the 10 seconds so after 10 seconds it automatically uh, just uh, hides i uh, just makes it empty okay so let's see how i have done it actually i have already done this so i am just going to explain you the code okay so first of all you can see that there is just two component for now let's just understand that this two component okay now first of all we have to define the context api okay so context api comes with this package create context okay so first i have imported that create context into into my this file and you can name it anything this create con uh, con context or js to name anything you want okay and here you i have used that create context api function and here i have set it to to null this is the data where i am what i'm talking about so right now it is null you can set it just this and it will still work uh, okay and i have named it abc again you can name it anything and i have just simply exported it export default abc okay so there's only three things happening here first we are importing the create context from react and then we are running the uh, create a context function okay and i have we have named this abc and we have imported it okay just simple as that okay nothing serious so now what i am going to do is since i told you that we have to set the provider on top of these two components so where exactly is this component? These two components are in this file folder. Both are separate. Okay. So these two components are here. Okay. So that's why what I have done is I have set the provider here on top of that. Okay. So if for example if you had everything and you want to set on top of that, what you can do is you can set it on index.js. From here that will be whatever the provider name and then wrap it here. Okay so yeah so what i have done is i have imported that abc function which has the context here and i have imported these two components okay i'll show you what are in what exactly is in those two components so i have imported this abc which is from here this abc okay and after that i have Mm, yeah nothing serious uh, just this this thing that's all and i have made a use state set value and set value this is the setter function uh, this is the get function and this setter function so currently it's just an empty array nothing nothing else and i told you earlier that you ha this is the provider where you initialize the value this is the main value so right now this this is the its value 
okay and we are passing a setter function as well set value so uh, anyone like receive or there uh, in those component they can set value of this this value okay so yeah simple as that nothing here is for you to uh, know okay so let's go into component v first okay so this is the component v now you can see there's lots of thing here but you don't have to worry about i'm going to explain you everything one by one first i have imported use state which is no use right now but ignore that then i have imported use fact and use context so use context is important i mean if you want to use the context api you have to import this use context okay and then axios and that th that same abc function that i have we have imported from this your context.js okay so now i made a function which is calling this api and i have console log dot uh, its response and then i have taken the set value function which is getting from here okay so yeah i forgot to tell you about this yeah so i have extracted this value and set value from from here you see this value and set value since we were passing the in provider so i got this data from provider by calling use context abc i told you that you want to if you want to use use context api you have to use this context use context function that's why i have imported here okay so so from here we got this value and set value see this value and set value okay and now see we are simply just setting the value of this response dot data into here okay and i have also made a use effect function which will run uh, every time which will keep running and every every like 10 second it will make this set value into empty empty just for a decoration purpose nothing serious okay so here my uh, here i have made a on click function and on on click of that function it it uh, it uh, runs the function this function and calls the api okay so simple as that just like you are uh, ex, uh, on click of this this click here function you are uh, running you are fetching the api data and you are setting the value here which you got from provider so since you have set value to rest dot data now it will automatically update this this value to that api api data okay and in component a i have used the same thing i have used use context to use a context api <coughs> and then i have i have taken the value extracted the value from from my provider and then since uh, i know that it already has got the value uh, of the api data because we we have set set it here, here so now i'm just mapping the data <coughs> so i guess you understood understood what i'm trying to do here so it is simple thing and now if you want to ever want to do use context api you can just import the use context and in, inside that you can use it so yeah that's it this was it if you really like the video you can press the like or subscribe or share it with your friends thank you bye bye